Perek HaMochur Sabayis, Dab Samach Gimel, sponsor the Rafu Shlema for Yehuda Chaim ben Esther Sara. Abaya and Rabba dispute ambiguous terms used in two contracts. Number one, Rabba holds one who sells land rights. Half that I own in the land. The buyer is entitled to half. That I own refers to the half he owns. Half in the land that I own entitles him to a quarter. That I own refers back only to the land. Half refers to half of what he owns. A buyer holds both Lishonos entitle him to half. Number two, the seller intends to sell and retain part of his field. Rabba holds if the contract states Palga, the buyer is entitled to half. If the contract states Psika, cut off, it refers to a minimum, a furrow large enough to plant nine cobs. Abaya disagrees. The legal difference between these terms depends on the seller stating initially, these are all the boundaries, then listing them, an apparent redundancy in the contract indicating his intent to sell more than a minimum. The Gemara discusses interpreting ambiguous terms used by a seriously ill person. Number one, he states, Yachlok Ploni Benechosai, allow Ploni to share my possessions. The beneficiary is clearly entitled to half. Number two, he states, Chelek Li Ploni Benechosai, allow Ploni a share of my possessions. It can be interpreted as an equal or minimum share. A Bryce has stated, Chelek regarding water shared from a pit for various needs. Subchus holds, Mamana Mutu Besafek, Chokin. Disputed property is divided, meaning anything more than a minimum is divided. The Rishonim dispute the Halacha. The Rabbanan dispute Subchus. They hold, Amotzi Mechavero, Allah Haraya. The burden of proof is on the buyer to claim more than a minimum. The Gemara discusses one who sells land with an illegal stipulation. A Levite sold property to Yisrael, stipulating he retains rights to the Maisa Rishon, the first tithe. Normally, the owner gives it to a Levite of his choice. Here, a Bryce states the seller is entitled because the Maisa that will grow is excluded from the sale. This contradicts the principle of Ein Adam Makne. Davar Shalom Bala Olam. Just as one cannot transfer futures, he cannot retain ownership of futures. The Gemara answers, based on a previously discussed rule, redundant clauses, or presently illegal clauses, must be reinterpreted effectually if possible. Although the Levite stated he retains Miser, it is interpreted to mean his intent was to retain land equal to the quantity of Miser. Reish Lakish deduces a ruling from this b'risa. Amorayim argue his intent. One sells his house, stipulating he retains ownership of the roof. Such a stipulation is superfluous if it has a maket. Reish Lakish interprets his stipulation as retaining additional rights. Zavid explains he retains rights to extend beams from his roof into the airspace of the sold courtyard. The airspace of the courtyard is similar to a Dover Shalom Bala Olam. The seller must retain some degree of ownership in the courtyard. Papa explains he retains right in the event it collapses to rebuild it. His right to the roof after the sale is only to the existing roof. The Gemara suggests that Reish Lakish's inference from the case of Meiser lends more credence to Reb Zavid. Both cases force him to retain a degree of ownership. According to Reb Papa, he needs to retain only future rights. Reb Dimi holds, for a buyer to acquire pits and cisterns on a property, the seller must write in the deed, Mithom Ara Vadrom Rokia, from the depth of the earth to the height of the sky. 
If he stipulates only umka veruma, it refers only to the area above and below, ground under the house or the airspace above, not sold automatically with the house. Pits and cisterns are not part of a house, including its surrounding property. Therefore, the additional clause is necessary. His opinion cannot be supported. Although a Mishnah states where the seller stipulates umka veruma, it does not include pits and cisterns, the Gemara suggests a non-apparent interpretation. Even if leaving out umka veruma could include under and above the house, it would not include pits and cisterns, but stipulated it would include even pits and cisterns. If you're enjoying Dauphin 5, please click on the link below, subscribe, and become a sponsor. Thank you.